Well, here at home, our temperatures are high, and you say they're going to go back down. You see this behind I me? I see that big yeah. arrow. 93 <laughs> degrees for the high temperature today. So, a very warm day. Felt like summer. The roller coaster ride is going to be continuing, though, Vic. Take a look. We're going to be dropping down a drastic drop to 80 degrees as we head into Tuesday. So, that's a big difference. The average high for this time of year, well, that is 78 degrees. Right now, we're checking in around 78. This is actually where we should be for the high temperature this time of year. But nope, it's about 11.20 at night. And that's where we are. It's 76 in Pikesville. We have 74 in Ricerstown, 76 in Cockeysville. It's 76 in Perry Hall. And 75 degrees currently in Middle River. So it certainly is a rather warm night out there. And we'll drop down only into the mid-60s, some spots north and west into the upper 50s. Nonetheless, here's what we have going on right now in the bigger picture. High pressure is going to be building in as we make our way into Tuesday afternoon. In the meantime, we have a very weak boundary right now sitting just north of the Mason-Dixon line. You can kind of see the faint cloud cover there on the map. We'll deal with mostly cloudy skies as we head into the overnight hours tonight. And we'll have clouds around as we start out the day on Tuesday. Future radar shows us stopped here at 6 a.m. We'll have the chance for a very isolated sprinkle. Otherwise, We'll have things beginning to clear on out pretty much from northeast to southwest as we head throughout the day on Tuesday. So we will end the day likely with some full sunshine out there. And then the stretch of sunshine is going to last pretty much all the way through the work week. So an extended stretch of sunshine, but some roller coaster temperatures. So here's what's going to happen. Overnight, cooler air is going to filter in. I showed you that temperature drop that's going to be happening by tomorrow afternoon. We stay cool through the middle of the week, but by the weekend, a big ridge is going to be building in, which means we'll pull in warmer air from the south. The jet stream moves up to the north. You can think of the jet pretty much as that uh, doorkeeper to the cooler air that is located to our north. So then we're going to be making our way back into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees as we start out fall overnight. A low temperature of 65. Tomorrow we'll top out in the mid upper 70s to right around 80 degrees for that forecast high in Baltimore. So there's the roller coaster ride of temperatures and Vic by the time we make it to fall officially 350 a.m. on Monday. We're talking 90 degrees by Monday afternoon. So fall is going to be coming in hot. That it will. Okay. Thank you very much, Chelsea. <laughs>